Welcome to ETV for November 15, 2010. Attention seniors, photos for the 2011 Hammer Yearbook are due to Miss Hansen by November 30th. Upcoming college reps. Tomorrow, November 16th, Wyona State University will be in guidance. See Miss Mead ahead of time if you are interested in getting a pass to see the college rep. Now for the food drive word of the day. The key club word of the day is door. Mr. Saylor's door is keeping the belt where it belongs. Uh, second block classes, make sure to have your doors done by tomorrow. Your food drive network spoke with Mr. Hobley, certified food drive accountant. Hi, I'm Mike, and uh, I'm here with Mr. Hobley, uh, certified food drive accountant. Hi, Mike. Hello, Mr. Hobley. And, uh, now, Mr. Hobley, I was wondering, um, do you have any advice type of strategy for any competitors this year? Well, I just want to make it fair uh, competition for everybody. So I'm just going over the rules for all the classes. Um, there are two ways to win. You can either collect the most food in the school. Um, that includes your double point items and your $2 for every $1 cash you bring in. Um, and if you have the most food for all its uh, classes that have uh, selected that formula, you will win. Um, you also can win if you have the most food, not including your double points, per student. So if you have a smaller class size, I'd go with the uh, per student formula. If you have a bigger class size, I'd go with the total uh, formula. Now, do you have any advice for anybody who would like to take down last year's champion, Mr. Saylor? Well, I, just, I really want this to be a fair competition. Um, I, I'm not looking to play any favorites at all uh, during the competition. So I'm really just out to, uh, to make sure that everyone plays fair. So if anyone does have any problems with any tactics that, uh, that other teachers may deem worthy of the uh, competition, I'd be more than happy to adjudicate those, those tactics and, and rule fairly um, for in the spirit of good competition. Would you uh, care to read some of the rules? Well, I, did, I did went over the formula uh, already for the two first place winners, and those two first place winners will compete in competitions during the, the assembly on Tuesday next week to determine the, the overall belt winner and the winner of the, uh, the catered breakfast by Key Club. But even if you aren't one of those two top teams, you still can win, you can get second place um, in a random drawing, and all you do is have to bring in food for your class, and you get to participate in that uh, second place drawing. Um, and as Mr. Saylor did point out, second place is still pretty respectable. Oh, all right. Now, as if you had to pick, who would you say would be a fair contender for this year? Well, I, uh, I did do a little tour today of the different classrooms, um, and there are already some classes that have quite a bit of food um, already stocked away. Um, whether it was in Mr. Saylor's uh, one box, he had, he had a single box. I'm not sure if it could fit on this table or not, but it, he did have one single box that had some food in it. Um, I saw Mr. Hammer also had uh, quite a bit of food, and um, I've heard some, uh, some, some talk of some big donations coming in uh, from Tanner Vardvaka, and uh, I believe he's in Mr. Saylor's classroom, so I, you know, I, I hate to pick against a champion, uh, but I, I just can't do it. I, got, I have to go with the champion once more. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Hobley, and uh, let's make it a good food drive. Let's make it about the food. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.